Welcome to my channel, everyone. Thanks for dropping in here today for a spoiler-free book review, this time on a Stephen King book, Just After Sunset. In 2007, Stephen King was sitting around trying to think of an idea for a novel when he was contacted by the best American short stories about editing an upcoming volume. He took on that editing job, and he enjoyed it so much that it inspired him to put his own collection together. And we get this, Just After Sunset, which is 12 primary stories, some of which were written after that time period of the editing job, and some of which were collected from various different, basically, magazine publications throughout the year, Playboy, or throughout the past. Playboy, uh, Fantasy and Sci-Fi magazine, various different sources, plus one additional short story for a total of an appropriate 13, The Cat from Hell, published in 1977, about an old man who hires a hitman to try to kill his cat. It's a perfect horror story, one of my favorite short stories of all time. I really enjoy most of the stories in this compilation. Stephen King touches on some themes here. Life and death are back here in this book. Friendship is a theme, especially life and death. Of course, this is a Stephen King book. There are some ghost stories in here with that life-death theme. And I really like ghost stories. And one of them, which opens up the compilation, Willa, some people are apparently stranded in some kind of purgatory. It's a really good story. It's a unique story. I really like this, and it really starts the compilation out well. Willa, a good ghost story. Another ghost story here in this compilation is Stephen King's kind of homage, or his respects that he's paying, with a ghost story about the September 11th terrorist attacks in America. Stephen King was obviously very affected by that, and he writes a very touching ghost story here about that 9-11 terrorist attack, and it's really one of the best stories in this book. It's a really heartfelt kind of thing, and I really, really like that one. There are some other stories here that really capture the imagination of Stephen King, one more of which I'll mention here, called Stationary Bike. In Stationary Bike, a man is apparently traveling into another world or a parallel dimension or something. It's so strange, I can't even describe to you what may or may not be happening in this book. You're not, never sure what's going on in Stationary Bike, but it is an incredibly deep story as far as the depths of imagination of Stephen King. I really liked Stationary Bike, and I thought about it for a while after I finished it. Really shows the literary genius in the deep imagination of Stephen King. I give this compilation, I'm going to give it four stars. You know, there were a few stories in this compilation that I wasn't so hot about, but I liked the majority of them. I thought they were good, and I do recommend this book. You know, I was looking for Dark Tower connections throughout this as I read, and I kind of, maybe, sort of found one in the story N, which is probably the most famous story in this compilation, which is so weird and unusual that if I even talked about it, I might spoil it. N is a really good story. It's one of the better in this book, maybe the best story in this compilation. I give this story a... I, you know, I considered giving it a three because maybe, maybe four or five of the stories I thought weren't as good, but I'm going to give it a four because a couple of the stories are fantastic and a couple of them are really good as far as just being really strange and very deep in imagination. I'll say it again. I really liked Stephen King's imagination in a couple of these stories. I give this a four-star review just after sunset, my fifth compilation by Stephen King. I give it a four-star review, and I do recommend this book.